Hello and welcome to the Point Apps Marketplace webinar. Thank you all for attending this morning. My name is Tasneem Mandra. I'm product marketing at Point. And on today's webinar, we'll actually go through two apps. One is Homebase and the other is OrderMax. So let's go ahead and get started. On our agenda today, I'll walk you through the Point Apps Marketplace and the benefits for merchants, resellers, acquirers. We'll also go through Homebase. We've got Margot representing uh, for them. Then we'll be joined by Rube, who will walk you all through OrderMax. And finally, we'll close out with Bruce, who will walk through the offline conversions integration with OrderMax via Facebook. Finally, we'll close our call with a Q&A in which you, you'll get a chance to ask all your most pressing questions. So let's get started. So I just want to give you a brief overview of the Point Apps Marketplace. As you know, when we built the world's first smart, uh, first smart terminal, uh, it's pretty revolutionary. And I think part of the reason why it was so incredible was the fact that we had apps. So just like your smartphone, you know, merchants were suddenly able to plug in the tools that they needed best to operate their business most efficiently and actually, in some cases, generate more business for themselves. So we felt that this app's capability definitely gave our merchants superpowers, um, in addition to the fact that they had a sleek terminal with features that were not necessarily exposed before on other terminals. For acquirers and developers, um, you know, for acquirers, basically, they now had an opportunity to sell something that was beyond rates. So they were able to sell technology and sell the benefits of a terminal that included apps. So it really changed the game in terms of the selling process. And as some of you may know, you know, I'm sure you see that day to day. And then for developers, we're giving developers the potential to get exposure to merchants and to some of the top reseller organizations in the US, which is definitely a unique situation. Over the years, we've built apps that merchants truly want. So they have capabilities now from cash management to kitchen display, accounting, point HQ, and loyalty. And the good thing is, this is definitely dynamic. So new apps are being added frequently. Um, we're road testing constantly and making sure that the apps that we do add bring value to the marketplace. And before I hand it off to our first guest, just wanted to close out and let you know that there are some resources that you can use to sell Point Smart Terminal, but also our apps. So after the webinar, if you get a chance, go to point.com forward slash sales and you'll see what we call our Point Sales Hub. And that features one sheeters, case studies, learning tools. And there's actually a section there called Point Apps Marketplace that features um, one sheeter on home base as well as uh, for order max. And with that, I'm going to go hand it off to Margot from home base. Take it away, Margot. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tasneem, for having us and for bringing this great group together. I'm Margot Langsdorf, and I'm VP of Partnerships at Homebase, and I am thrilled to be uh, here with you today and to really work with Point to help talk more about the app marketplace and specifically about Homebase. And before I tell you about all of our features and benefits, I like to start here, which is by showing you our competition because I bet many of you have seen this before when you're visiting your merchants out in the field, or even when you were scheduled as an hourly import, uh, employee way back in the day. So you might recognize this. It's the employee schedule that's hanging in the back office. Believe it or not, this is how 90% of businesses are scheduling in their employees before they find home base. If they're slightly more sophisticated, they're using an Excel doc or a Google doc. But it's our firm belief that in 2017, no team, no matter how big or small, should be managing themselves in this way. Next slide. And that's why we created Homebase. And when you think about Homebase, think about us solving three major challenges for your merchants. The first is time tracking. The second is employee scheduling. And the third is team communication. And we work with businesses across all different types of vertical lines, from quick service restaurants to food trucks to full service restaurants, 
to pet stores and boutiques, to dentist offices. As long as the business has employees, Homebase can be helpful to them. Next slide. And we've really established ourselves as the market leader in this space with the number one app for employee management for local business. We have over 60,000 merchants using our platform, which represents a whole bunch of big numbers in terms of uh, payroll that we've managed in the last year and hours that we've tracked over time. Next slide. One of the great features of our product is that we turn that point device into a sophisticated time clock where employees are clocking out in and out of both their breaks and their shifts. We'll even use that front facing camera and snap a photo of the employee as they clock in. So, you know, it's Margot clocking in and not Margot sharing a pin with a friend to clock in for her. And then all of that good data is stored in the cloud and then automatically populated out into timesheets. So no more manually adding up hours. We handle all of that for your merchants and then can easily export out into payroll. We work with all the big guys, ADP, Paychex, uh, Wells Fargo, QuickBooks Online. The point here is as long, um, the point here is that payroll, excuse me, which used to take hours, can now take minutes. Next slide. But where we're probably saving the most time for your merchants is on schedule building. Because prior to home base, they were spending about five to 10 hours per schedule period building and managing this. And so with home base, we're able to bring that down to about 15 to 30 minutes. And the way we do that is we've got an easy online drag drop schedule builder that pulls in three key sources of data to make that schedule smarter and more communicative. The first thing we're doing is we're pulling in weather. So think about all those businesses that have outdoor patios. Uh, you wouldn't want to schedule them with extra buffers and servers if it's going to be pouring down rain on Friday. We're also pulling in employee availability. So instead of rounding up all those text messages or uh, post-it notes, we brought that all into the schedule so that the manager can have all of that in front of them while they're building it so they don't schedule in any conflicts. And then we're also pulling in overtime. So before it's published, we do a quick overtime check to ensure that you're not gonna have to spend any extra money on unforeseen labor costs. And when it's all ready to go, we'll publish it out to employees. They'll get an email on their phone as well as a message letting them know that the schedule's been published. That way they can view it 24 seven. So no more late night calls to the manager asking, am I working again? That's all handled through our employee app. Uh, they can see it versus their other appointments by integrating it with their calendar. And probably my favorite feature and the one that gets that I need that response from decision makers is we will send employees a reminder an hour before their shift starts to get them off the couch and into work. That's a great feature to remember because it's something that always gets merchants excited. Next slide. And we've got a free set of mobile apps, which is available to both the employees and the managers. To the employees, they're checking their schedule. They can even trade a shift if they can no longer work. But then the manager needs to approve that shift trade so you don't have your worst employees subbing in for your best. We've also got a fully functioning team communication platform here where you can send messages off to the entire team to just folks working tomorrow. You can even include a photo in there so that you can take a picture of the daily special and send it out to the team so that they're all on the same page before they start their shift. For managers, they're able to check uh, in on that data coming in from that point terminal to see who's clocked in on time. We're also pulling in sales from point so they can see their sales versus their labor in real time to make sure they're running at an efficient percentage. Next slide. And something super excited is that our entire product, from our web app to our point time clock, even our mobile apps and customer service is now available in Spanish. So if you have any Spanish speaking decision makers or anyone with Spanish speaking employees, they're able to get their information in their native language. All right, this is the grand reveal. This is really the part that makes people ooh and ah, and I realize that everyone's on mute. So in my head, I'm gonna picture you ooing and aahing. Next slide, Tasneem, for the big reveal. Yes, every single thing I mentioned comes for free in our basic package. 
meaning every single thing I mentioned comes for free when you sell that point terminal, which means not only do you have a beautiful terminal that's available to help take all different types of payments, but now it is able to do all of this employee management functionality as well. Is everyone clapping and screaming from joy in the background? I'm sure hoping so. Now, I know you all on this phone are business folks, and you're asking me, how on earth do we make money? And I'm going to tell you, we have got upgraded packages available through the Point App Store that are $10 a month per location and $30 a month per location. And I'm going to tell you about just a couple features in those packages, not so you feel like you need to upsell, but more so so that you understand why someone might upgrade. Next slide. In our essentials package, which is $10 a month, we have some great mobility features that really allow that business owner to get a little bit of space from their business. One of them is that we'll send additional text messages when someone's running late or when someone's approaching overtime. The goal here is to inform that business owner of what's going on in their business, even if they're not there, and allow them to take immediate action, whether it's messaging that employee, calling in for backup, um, or even calling that manager to say, hey, let's get Margo off the floor. If that happens even once, this package pays for itself. Next slide. This is probably our sexiest time clock feature, which I promise will be the first and the last time you hear those two words in the same sentence. This is our mobile GPS time clock, and this is great for anyone with remote employees, especially in the service field. So think about caterers, plumbers, landscape artists. What we do here is we have the ability to have folks clock in from their phone. And just as you see on this slide, we'll snap a photo of their GPS location and attach that to the timesheet so that the manager knows that all of their remote employees arrived on site and on time. Next slide. In our $30 a month plus package, we have a fantastic money saving feature. This is for all those times that folks clock in five or six minutes early. That actually adds up to about $200 per month per location in unanticipated labor costs. And so what we do here is we shut off the ability to clock in early. You actually have to have a manager um, allow you to pin in to do that. And what we're able to do then is save that $200 per month, which not only covers the cost of home base, but can help to offset the cost of points as well. Next slide. And then a fantastic feature for restaurants and retail is our new manager logbook. This is a great way to share important information, manager to manager, shift to shift, and help give context to that great data that's flowing in from point around sales for the managers to be able to provide notes that are searchable by date and searchable by topic. Next slide. Uh, something we're incredibly proud of at Homebase, we have fantastic U.S.-based customer service, and they're all former retail, restaurant, and business managers, so they've sat in the shoes of your customer. They're available seven days a week by email, five days a week by phone, and we offer training eight times per week to get all of your merchants onboarded onto our product, up and running, and experts in less than 20 minutes. So the point of the slide is, is leave customer service to us, they're in the best of hands. Next slide. And one thing I like to reiterate on these calls, it's probably something that has made me the most proud when I've uh, worked at Homebase, is what I hear from folks like you out in the field who are talking about Homebase to their clients and are really seeing it as a way to drive incremental sales. We did a survey and found that nine out of 10 sales agents in the field drove an incremental sale because of Homebase because it really gets that, I need that response from merchants. It helps to drive urgency, and is really the number one app that they talk about to help close deals. So I'm hoping the next time that I get invited to one of these calls, I'll have a quote from one of you on the phone today to share with the team. Next slide. So I wanted to give you some quick pointers on how to spot a great business to talk about home base to. These are visual cues that you can look for when you're inside the business. That ugly paper calendar that's hanging in the back office, if you see that, guaranteed we can save that customer time and money and you will be their home base hero. Uh, if you see an antique time clock like the one you're seeing here, that means they're manually adding up 
uh, hours every single week, probably spending too much time and making a whole bunch of mistakes. It's another great telltale sign that home base can be helpful. And finally, more than five employees. If you see that, that's really where communication becomes a challenge for business owners. So once you see one of these three cues, you can go to the next slide and ask them one of these questions. Next slide, Tasmin. These are great questions to help position home base and to start the conversation around labor. I really call this our rhetorical question slide. So you can ask, do your employees ever show up late? Well, now with points through the home base app, they're going to get a reminder an hour before their shift starts to get them off the couch and into work. Or do you frequently write down time off requests and availability and lose it? Well, now with Point in the Home Base app, you're going to have all of that data shown to you while you're building the schedule so that you won't build in any conflicts. Next slide. So we've got some great resources available to you. It's all housed on sellmorepoint.com. So that's a great uh, reference site for you to bookmark. We've got flyers, quick start guides, everything you need to really tell the story of Home Base and Point. Next slide. So three quick things to remember on home base. One, we provide a free solution for your merchants to help them with employee scheduling, time tracking, and team communication. Two, we are relevant and useful to any business as long as they have employees. And three, we really should be a tool that helps you to sell more points, not be another product that you need to sell. And with that, I'm going to pass it back off to you. Great. Thank you, Margo. Great job. Really appreciate the, the overview on home base. I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic on to Rube from OrderMax, and he'll walk you through um, their product. Take it away, Rube. Thank you so much. Hi, this is Rube uh, speaking. I'm the founder and CEO of Kingdon, which uh, produces uh, OrderMax. And uh, I'd like to start off with a, with a short story, actually, although we don't have a bit, uh, too much time, but to position this uh, with a story. So uh, how did it all start and why, which is very important, is back in 2011, when I, was, uh, when I first moved to London, I discovered the uh, Starbucks mobile app. And uh, same as many other people, uh, I immediately perceived the value and the benefits and the convenience of it and started using it quite frequently. And uh, through it, saving time and skipping queues and actually, you know, getting what I want fast and, and being happy. And the more I used it, uh, the more I was connected to the Starbucks brand. And without even realizing it, uh, it went... Uh, I went purely uh, to their locations, although uh, that was not the intention. So uh, as time passed by, and I saw a lot of opportunities in other retail environments uh, uh, and, and other retail alternatives uh, for a similar pr proposition like, like Starbucks, but it didn't seem to happen. No one seemed to pull it off in any other uh, uh, brand or any other vertical the way that Starbucks did. And the reason why eluded me so much that it became actually an obsession. And I, that's why I founded Kingdom to pursue the, the solution and to, to find the cause of this and to find a solution for this problem and to introduce tools like this to, to, to many more local uh, merchants and local chains. Actually, it took us more than four years, a lot of sleepless nights and countless discussions with, with merchants and, and local chains. Mm -hmm. But uh, we believe that the, this solution is uh, now in front of you and in form of order max and, uh, and it actually works. So uh, we produce tangible effects for merchants and uh, we make them perceive as brought by the uh, reseller. Uh, so, so we make the reseller and the ISO and the people that actually sell processing services and, and, and POS uh, devices, not anymore as a tax man, but actually as someone that brought tangible value and as a savior actually. Uh, next, next slide, please. So as I said, the biggest QSR success story, but not only in the QSR, in, in, 
cafes and, and restaurants and all this food and drink vertical is, is Starbucks until now. Uh, it, it's, it's about simplicity. It's about convenience. It's about pleasure to the user, the speak, personalized suggestions and, and delighting the customer. And that's why it's successful. And what, what we did is we tried and I believe succeeded in providing this uh, 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 this this uh, experience of a big brand through Order Max to any small local brand or merchant. Next slide, please. But those restaurants, those local brands, those merchants are are not Starbucks brands, so they couldn't have pulled it off. Nobody would have installed yet another wrap. So, especially of a small merchant, and and because these uh, these small apps or have very uh, low repeated use, and actually they die off even if if they are installed, and usually they're not. Uh, if somebody uh, a local merchant wants a branded app, they're very expensive to develop. They're they're super hard to market, and and to, not to speak about cost of maintaining them. And usually, if you go unbranded. So, for example, through part, th third party apps like uh, Open Table, uh, you gather the audience and, and the database and retargeting capabilities for third parties, actually, like Open Table, uh, not the restaurant brand, which is trying super hard to, to, to gather their own audience and grow their brand and affinity. And, and we pursued the, the, probably the oldest saying as well in, uh, in marketing, which said, Half of the marketing spend I, I, I do is wasted. I just don't know which half. So every single merchant, small merchant, is trying to do Facebook marketing. Every single one. But they're either not doing it well, or they don't know how to do it, or they don't have time or will to, to, to get expertise or help with it, so they keep investing small small chunks of money, and, and uh, the effect is... Uh, also comparable to to uh, to it, so it could have been done the other way. It could have been done differently, and this is what Facebook and Kingdom have done together. We have designed a different product with which works and takes takes away the hassle and 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 automates all of these uh, pain points of a local merchant. Next slide, please. So what is actually, I want to say, what is order max for local merchants? And on the next slide, we will say, what is order max for you guys? Because the, the, you are our top biggest ally in positioning this because this makes you sell more of your core product. Okay. But what is it for local merchant? What is it for small restaurant, local chain, or, or whoever in food and drink vertical? We managed to have through the order max higher average ticket like 15 to 20 percent average ticket growth of uh because we upsell the the uh the actual service upsells we managed to have more orders per per customer so uh, we transform casual customers to loyal because of the convenience and the benefit and the, the delight we acquire new customers for the for the local brand or merchant through through facebook marketing we acquire every customer that comes to uh, to the service actually goes into the database with a fully populated profile and a name and a picture so that this can be used on the point POS afterwards to personalize the pitch every time the customer comes. Uh, you can, uh, the, the cashier or the waiter can know their name. They actually provide a personalized service through this while everything was collected and displayed automatically. We put customers, uh, smiles on customer faces, and that is probably the main thing and the most important thing that we do, because afterwards, this is perceived as, as something that the local brand or merchant has done, and it strengthens the bond uh, subconsciously between the brand and, uh, and, and uh, again, the consumer. People order through the service from work. Uh, they order while they commute, all without a need for 
to download or install an app, which is the most important thing that you know we managed to do because we do this experience through the Facebook Messenger by providing people links that actually land in the Facebook Messenger, which is nowadays in the US a native app. You can safely say that on any smartphone, Facebook Messenger is installed, which means that it's uh, ubiquitous. Uh, group orders for lunch, people order for themselves. The other people see convenience, they order for the whole group. So you get bigger orders, merchants get bigger orders. And all the marketing investment that you do through Facebook is measured in visits and spend. So marketing ROI is measured in the physical space, the effect, the spend, which is the actually the more, most important. Next slide, please. For you guys, what does it mean to uh, to push and 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 recommend order max? Okay, you position your core service uh, as a unique offering because you bring to merchants what is requ requested uh, by market today. Okay, you're as I said perceived once they see the effect, which is within a week, as a merchant's ally and someone that brings weekly uh, uh, tangible value, not as anymore as a tax man. Uh, you differentiate from all the other payment processing services, which you know better than I do. Uh, there are many and uh, it's a commoditized product. There is a, a, a word of mouth generated between merchants, which bring you new accounts, new, new, new merchants. You sell more point devices, of course, and your core bread and butter processing service and you get a sales collateral that is a no-brainer and you just have to walk in into the location of a of a of a, of a merchant and upsell this because uh, the statistics say that 50 percent of any qsr environments will have 50 percent of all locations will have some form of order ahead and pre-order uh, uh, by the end of 2018. So there's a lot, a lot of addressable market. Next slide, please. So how does it work? It can begin, and it usually begins with a, with a, with a Facebook ad that uh, presents some, some offer or something to uh, something uh, 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 engaging to uh, a coupon or something to to. Uh, to a consumer and drives them to visit the store, okay? Drives them to a local merchant location. Next slide, please. Once they uh, click on this ad, they can be transported into Facebook Messenger experience, okay? So even if they uh, contact the Facebook page or write to a merchant, uh, ask a question, or they landed uh, through some kind of a, a link or a Facebook ad. They land any communication with the uh, with the with the Facebook presence of a merchant brings up a bot. So a bot is discovered in, in this way, and this this is actually a pre-order uh, order ahead bot, which helps customers order ahead, uh, make orders and actually prepare everything uh what is the you know uh, the, the the main thing they do in any food and drink environment they can do this even when in store if they want to skip the queue or order something else while, while they're at the table as well so you can see that uh, uh, we automatically on the from the point device we pull all the categories all the items all the prices everything is pulled from the actual POS so that the merchant's onboarding is seamless, okay? Within two minutes, with a couple of clicks, they have the system set up and running and the, the actual orders land on their POS devices. They're alerted, they're, they're found in their orders, so it's completely integrated into the point experience. They don't change any behavior. Uh, next slide, please. You can see that you can order multiple items from multiple categories, like, I don't know, sandwiches, salads, drinks, 
and we the, the the bot always upsells and that's why we we end up with 20 20 20 percent uh, larger a ticket or larger order per uh, per average ticket so because people find it very convenient very simple and uh, they actually order more because probably they would uh, would do so if uh, if uh, uh, an experience elsewhere was so so frictionless but this is a, a very engaging experience with all the pictures and uh, and people actually you know end up ordering more at least a drink more at least a salad more which is which is a lot when you accumulate all those orders next slide please Uh, at the end of the order, it's uh, summarized. They see uh, uh, how much, what, what they ordered, uh, how much they have to spend, and they actually uh, uh, tell uh, tell the bot through the conversation, which is just click and choose instead of writing. That's why we call call it a bot instead of a chat bot. Uh, they they say when they would like to pick it up, or when would they like to have it ready. And to confirm, they leave their mobile number where they get the confirmation and the code for the pickup, which also ends up in the CRM database of, of a merchant and is used for retargeting at, uh, at a different time. So you end up with any order, with the name of the person, picture, uh, 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 retargetable uh, profile on Facebook, and a mobile number. I think it's quite a lot. Okay, next slide, please. When the order is made, it lands on the point smart terminal. It lands in the orders, and it also says when it's supposed to be uh, prepared. So the whoever is uh, behind the counter, whether, whether a waiter or, or, uh, or, or a cashier, is aware at the moment with the visual and uh, audio sign of the order and knows what needs to be prepared when. Okay, next slide, please. And the beauty of it all is that you automatically have the calculation of the return on investment for your Facebook marketing. So if you put $300 that week, you can see that I don't know, 60 new customers have come, which have spent $4,500, and the, your return of, uh, on investment is 15 times. This is all calculated automatically, and it can be seen through the Facebook uh, uh, business uh, manager, and it also can be seen in the dashboard of uh, Order Max, uh, whether from a laptop or from a, a, a point device. One of the first times that uh, ROI calculation of digital marketing is made attributed in the physical space. And this is uh, uh, really a, a killer feature for merchants. And this is with all, coupled with all the other things, it's a unique offering that you can take to merchants. And it's really simple to sell. Okay, next slide, please. So we bring you to uh, our friend Bruce Lee from Facebook to uh, tell you a bit more about how easy it is to set up uh, campaigns on uh, on on uh, Facebook ads on uh, on on the Facebook Business Manager. Thank you. Thanks, Rube. I'm going to start uh, sharing my screen here. Uh, so I'm Bruce Lee, Product Growth Manager at Facebook. I work on our product partnerships team uh, to answer your questions right off the bat. Uh, yes, that is my real name. Uh, and no, I don't know martial arts. And yes, I know that's a bit of a waste. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about offline conversions. What are offline conversions? They're any events that a business cares about, such as in-store sales that are happening in the offline world as opposed to online, and that the business wants to use ads to impact. But first, I want to just give a brief overview of Facebook advertising. Time spent on smartphones is surpassing time spent on 
any other screen. Mobile is gathering a lot of our attention. It's the smallest device we have, yet the most intimate. And on average, people in the US spend three hours a day on their mobile devices. 87% of that time is spent in apps. So mobile is obviously very important. You probably have heard that before. And with the Facebook family of apps and services, you have access to some of the world's most used apps with the highest intensity of engagement. Instagram now has more than 600 million people using the app every month. With Facebook, you have access to an enormous audience. Around 2 billion people are visiting Facebook every month. And through the audience network of affiliated publishers, you can expand the reach of your campaigns into thousands of other pop popular apps, all of which have been vetted by Facebook. Facebook and Instagram together account for over 20% of user time spent on mobile. And the audience network accounts for 6% of additional time on mobile. So we've seen that mobile is important. Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network give a huge give the ability to reach a huge audience to your merchants. And I was asked to give just a quick overview for those who might not be super familiar with how Facebook advertising works of how to get started with ads on Facebook. And the first thing I'll say is uh, if you have a merchant who is interested in starting ads on Facebook, uh, have them go to business.facebook.com and we have a lot of great help content there that walks through the basics on how to create your ad accounts, create your campaigns and run them, and then view the results. But just to touch on a few key points here, the first thing is you wanna ask yourself a couple key questions. What are my business goals? So do I wanna build awareness for my brand? Or further down the funnel, do I actually wanna drive people to my store and drive in-store conversions? We have a range of different ad products that are each specialized to meet each of those goals. The next key question is, who is my audience? Who am I trying to reach with my message? At Facebook, we have a very good understanding of our users, and we have very powerful targeting capabilities by interests, location, demographics, and behavior to get your message out to the right people. This ensures that you're not wasting money delivering your message to people who aren't gonna be interested in your product. And finally, you wanna ask, how will I measure and track the results of my advertising? This is where Facebook's people-based measurement capabilities are unique in the industry. We have the ability to directly tell you how your ads are actually driving the results that you care about with your business. And just to dive into a few more details here, one thing you do wanna be thoughtful about is what are you trying to do with your Facebook advertising? Uh, what stage of the funnel are you really trying to impact? We have great solutions for building awareness for your brand and getting that, getting your, uh, your brand message out to as wide an audience as possible. In the middle of the funnel, we also have great solutions for driving traffic to your website or driving app installs for you. And then what we're going to focus on today is the bottom of the funnel, driving actual conversions or sales. And that's where we're working with great partners like uh, Rube and the OrderMax solution. Uh, to really tie into the Facebook advertising products and create a great joint solution for your merchants. So our advertising solutions at Facebook allow you to achieve your objectives at every stage of the journey from awareness to transaction all the way across the funnel. For example, you can introduce people to your brand with a video ad on Instagram. You can drive demand for your product offering with Canvas on Facebook. You can also use lead ads to collect uh, information from interested buyers. Uh, you can also use mobile app ads to get people to install your mobile app. And finally, you can use dynamic ads to automatically promote all of your product catalog to people who have demonstrated intent. So, We've talked about how different Facebook ad formats can be used for different objectives. Now let's talk about actually measuring performance. In the online world, the Facebook Pixel and Facebook App Events enable measurement of online sales driven by campaigns. 
And now, Facebook offline conversions, which is what I want to talk to you about today, lets, you, lets your merchants see how their ads on Facebook, Instagram, and the audience network are driving offline results. Offline meaning in the real world as opposed to online. So Facebook offline conversion solution. What is it and how does it work? Well, basically this boils down to a big matching exercise. An advertiser launches a campaign on Facebook, users see and interact with that campaign, and then an hour, a day, or up to 28 days later, they go into a store and purchase something. That purchase gets stored in one of the advertiser systems, typically a point of sale solution like Point or a CRM solution, along with some form of identity for the customer. And the transactions data plus identity gets passed back to Facebook over our offline conversions API. And we can then match that transaction against our ad exposure data, which users saw which ad campaigns when, and then we can determine which campaigns that transaction can be attributed to. So what is the benefit to your merchants here? Why go through this whole process? Well, the first point is for the very first time, we're giving you attribution visibility. Your merchants can now see what impact their marketing is having on actual in-store sales. In the past, they've kind of had to operate in the dark and just trust that the ads that they were running were having some beneficial impact on, on their in-store sales. Now we can actually provide them with measurability to say this campaign drove this many sales and the value of, this, of the sales was this amount. That's huge for merchants. The next key benefit for merchants is much better targeting capabilities. Once you're using the offline conversion solution, you can use your offline results to create custom audiences on Facebook from your prior purchasers that you can then include or exclude from your future campaigns. You can also create lookalike audiences of people who are similar to people who have bought from you in the past and target that, that audience as well. Um, we also give you very valuable customer insights to better understand your customers. So once you're using offline conversions, you can use our audience insights tool to drill down into your customer base and really understand based on cuts on age, gender, income, who your high value purchasers really are. And that will help inform your marketing strategy. And then another key benefit that we're actually uh, just starting early alpha testing for is what we call real-time optimization capabilities based on offline results. This is where your ad delivery, meaning which ads get shown to which users, will be impacted in real time based on the offline results, which we've seen for other Facebook products has the ability to dramatically improve marketing ROI for merchants to the tune of around a 25% improvement in cost per conversion. So this offers the potential for a step change in uh, performance of, of your merchants marketing. And we're still in very early days, but just a, a quick case study of uh, one of our uh, retailers who's having uh, great success with the offline conversion solution. Uh, Max Fashion, which is a uh, leading apparel retailer in the Middle East, has been using the offline conversion solution to connect their online advertising efforts with their in-store sales. Uh, they had help from a, a Facebook marketing partner called ROI Hunter, who helped uh, the, uh, the retailer manage the data flows for the integration, which um, testifies to the value of partners in this whole ecosystem. Uh, for the first time using offline conversions, Max Fashion was able to get visibility into how their marketing campaigns were actually driving in-store sales. So they ran one campaign that generated $650,000 in uh, online and offline sales uh, that was heavily skewed towards in-store sales, which is what they were looking to do. And the net result of that was a 26 X return on ad spend. That's pretty phenomenal. As a result, Max Fashion is now shifting budget away from other channels towards Facebook. And they're looking to do a lift study that should show the uh, ability of Facebook to incrementally drive in-store sales for them. 
So uh, I'll wrap up here. We think that the offline conversion solution offers huge benefits to your merchants in terms of improving the ability of uh, uh, improving their visibility uh, into their marketing and really giving them a much better picture of which tactics are working and which ones are not. Um, we also are looking to partners like Point and like Kingdon and the OrderMax solution to really make this very easy for our merchant clients to enable. Uh, rather than having to do a bunch of development themselves, they can easily uh, start using the OrderMax app and then get going with the uh, solution very easily. So with that, I'll say thank you. And then I think we're gonna open this up for Q&A. Excellent, thank you, Bruce. So yeah, I think you know the main point here is we've presented some solutions and they all basically tie back to the point smart terminal. With our terminal, you have the ability to basically do everything you need to not only grow your business, but manage your business more effectively. So with home base, you're able to track time, you're able to schedule, and you're able to do that with one device. Um, with order max, you know, suddenly you can boost your business, increase your average order size. And again, you don't have to leave your terminal. So really, really um, pretty revolutionary. And then, you know, as, as Bruce just mentioned, the offline conversions uh, tracking, that's, that's definitely something that hasn't been able to be done before via POS. And so we think, you know, kind of combining all these things are just, um, you know, it just shows unique ways that merchants can use the points for terminal. Love to open it up to questions. You do have a Q&A option um, on your webinar screen. If you can go ahead and add any questions that you'd like answered, please, please, uh, please do so now. Um, we do have a few questions. Um, we had a question from an audience member about order max and the price per month uh, for the different packages. Ruby, would you be able to answer that, please? Sure. Uh... So uh, it, it's pretty simple. Since uh, anything that is given away, uh, 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 we believe that it has also uh, such a commitment from uh, a user. But that's our personal, you know, opinion. But having said that, we price it quite uh, aggressively. So five ninety nine for the uh, standard package which gives you uh, most of the options, if not all, and is tied to 30 orders coming in per month. And uh, $49.99 is the uh, second uh, package, with, which is called All You Can Eat, uh, which uh, actually gives you uh, uh, the ability to have as many orders uh, uh, per month as, uh, as you can get which is actually our scope to provide uh, uh, the biggest growth possible to, to, to local merchants because this is the reason why we exist. We exist to grow local business and uh, to give them, the, to give them the, the weapons to win this uh, you know, market war because there is a war out there and, uh, and uh, merchants, local merchants are, are fighting for their lives, especially in retail. So we try to arm them with uh, solutions like this, which make them no, not only survive, but thrive. Excellent, thank you. Um, we had another question actually via email and then another in the, the Q&A queue, and that is, can we watch this webinar again? Absolutely, we will actually post a recording of this webinar on our Point Sales Hub. So that will be on point.com forward slash sales. We will also be sending out a recording to all um, attendees and registrants that will include a link to this video. So you will have access to that. And I may have mentioned it before, but there are two new one pagers on, on their sales hub. One is for home base and one is for order max. Feel free to, to check those out um, and download that, that content when you, when you get an opportunity. We had another question um, and that was from via email and that was uh, Margot for you and that was just basically about the question uh, and the question was around the security 
of, of Homebase. So how does Homebase keep employee information secure and are there methods that are being used to, to ensure that employee identity is safe? Yes, of course. We take security incredibly seriously. One thing I do want to point out, though, is that we have no social security numbers or anything like that stored around employees. That does not come into our system. So that is obviously something that people um, want to keep incredibly secure. That's actually not something we take in. But we have top-of-the-line security methods to ensure that our data is safe and that the employee data is safe. And we have additional permission levels that are built into the app to ensure that the right people on the team see the right information at all times. Excellent, thank you, Margo. We just had another question, um, which is where are these apps available on the App Store? So essentially, you can go on your PointSmart terminal, something merchants have access to, and there's um, an app called Point Apps. They tap on that app, and they'll see a menu of various apps that are available to them. One thing to keep in mind is that these apps are customized to a merchant type. So for instance, restaurants will see a, a certain type of grouping of apps versus say a retail store, just to make sure that things are curated and very customized um, by vertical. We have another question here, um, Margo, and this one is for you again. And the question is, how many employees can Homebase manage and can it be used to manage multiple locations with multiple point smart terminals? Great question. And the answer to, to the second question is yes, we have plenty of locations that use us across their multiple locations. So we service everyone from one location all the way up to 100 plus. So we can be a great solution for multi-locations. I will point out that multi-locations are best served in our plus package, which is the $30 a month per location package. That has some additional features around company level timesheets, company level dashboards that really arms the multi-locations with the data that they need to better run their business. In terms of employees, we actually charge by location instead of by employee, meaning that uh, you can have unlimited employees per location. This is really helpful for businesses that have part-time employees or seasonal employees because on a month-to-month -month basis, they might have a different employee count, meaning that their charge from employee management is different. We believe in simple and straightforward product and simple and straightforward pricing. So that's why we price per location. And as your business grows, we grow with it. Excellent, thank you. We have another question just received via email, and that is um, in regards to order max. So this question is for you, Rube, and the question is, when a merchant receives an order, if they have multiple point smart terminals, will they see the order across the terminals? Yes, so uh, it's a quite a good question because uh, we actually uh, have found it uh, a common request. So if the, uh, if you, for example, have three point terminals in the same location, all three terminals will receive this uh, uh, this order. Okay, so the first one that gets it uh, will be uh, will be assigned. If, for example, you have uh, three terminals but in three different locations, uh, three different stores, it will be uh, pushed to the to the to the appropriate terminal and the appropriate store. Thank you, Rube. And we have a follow-up question as well, Rube, for you. And that is, how is the point smart terminal catalog synced with order max? So essentially, this merchant wants to make sure that everything that they've put into their point smart terminal catalog will actually show up um, via order max. Yes, exactly. But this is this is actually the first one of the first things that we made sure that the integration is really deep. And, and that actually uh, with two clicks, you have a uh, connected product. So when you connect uh, your uh, point terminal to, to, the, uh, to, to the order max, we actually pull all the items, all the categories, all the prices, all the listings, and those end up as available in your, let's call it e-commerce catalog, which in the end is, uh, is uh, your merchant branded, uh, pre-order box. 
and and uh, and there is no need for manual input as long as you have a point device. Excellent. That definitely makes things really convenient when you're setting up. Well, we're coming up to 11 a.m., so the top of the hour. Thank you all for joining. Thank you to our panelists for taking the time um, today. And I'll give you all your, your minute back. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and thank you for joining. Um, we'll certainly be in touch with additional webinars in the future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.